Well, hello again, friends. It's Dr. Murray Ficklestein, and um, I've seen several things today that didn't really make sense to me, and I figured I would share them with you. And I am a doctor, so I, uh, I look at things and try to make a diagnosis, even though I'm a proctologist. Eh? You might think that what I look at is stinky, and usually yes. Yes, it does not smell like flowers. We've been over this with my friend, Dr. Ivan T. Yakov. We understand these things. So, what happened today, you know, I play a doctor on the internet. Or do I really? Actually, I am a doctor in real life. Or whatever life I decide is real. Seriously, though, I don't like this idea of formation. I don't like it. First off, there's not four of anything. I want to call it a rectangle. That's my idea. I want to say, let's have a rectangle. Let's have a battalion rectangle. Let's have a brigade rectangle. I mean, that's really what it is. It's not so much a square because it's longer this way. It is. If you look at it, you'll understand that it is. So that's that's my number one problem. I want to call them rectangles. And ours usually last a long time. But I bring a snack. I always bring some sunflower seeds. That's what I do. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Army Regulation uh, 670-1 or, or whichever one would cover the formation. I'm not sure. I'm a doctor, not a... Uh, not a bookworm. Actually, that's a lie. I like to read sometimes, but just the books with the pretty pages and pictures and stuff. But I don't think you're allowed to have a snack in formation, but sometimes I do anyway. I'm serious. I really do. I have a snack, and it kind of tides me over because sometimes these things just take forever. And I'm okay with that because, like I said, I brought a snack. And yeah, that's what I did. I, I snack on some sunflower seeds, or if I'm feeling really, uh, real crazy, I have some pogey bait. I don't even know what a pogey is. I've, I've been part of this, this military thing for three years and a little bit more than that, but I don't know what a pogey is. What does a pogey bait look like? I like to use these things, and that's not snuff. Even though I'm a proctologist, I'm going to tell you for the record, snuff is bad for you. But look at here. This is, this is like beef jerky that they put in like shredded form so you can act like you're cool, like you're a cowboy or whatever and you put a little ring in your pocket and you're like, ding, oh, haha, -ha, I'm cool. But no, it's just beef jerky. It's okay. It's just beef jerky. Yeah, so rectangles, that's what I want to call them. And um, we have a TA-50 layout and let me bust out my, uh, my doctor score. Yeah, I call it, 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 I mean, it's pretty high up there. It, it's a GT score of 123, which pretty much means if the military has it, I can operate it and I can learn about it. And that's, that's important. It's important to learn. But seriously, this is my TA-50. This is my clothing record, okay? It's three pages. Three pages of things like, oh, a Gerber and some cold weather underwear because if it's cold outside, you should have underwear. You really should. And a rucksack and things like this. But here's my thing with it. Did you understand what it means? Do you know what TA-50 actually stands for? Because I do. I understand what it really stands for. It's Table of Allotments 50. I, I, I don't get it. I've taken several steps to try to understand things. And, I, you know... I, I get a little bit of the picture. I, I don't know though. I don't know why they would call it a table of allotments 50. That's just stupid to me. That's just stupid. It's so dumb. I, I don't know. I'm still rocking my uh, my army issue glasses and that's okay because I see 2015 with them. Some of y'all might not see 2015. I don't know. I do. But, real talk, the two primary purposes for this conversation were to say, 
rectangles first off, and make sure you bring some snacks or some pogey bait. I don't know what a pogey is. I think it might be a fish. I think it is. I'm not a fisherman. I'm a proctologist. Or proctologist. Sometimes it's weird to say. I don't know. But um, that was my day. It was a very, very, very rewarding day. I got to see people get promoted, and that's a good thing. I got to watch a crane do a, uh, a weight test at the motor pool, even though they, they taped it off. We're civilians. We can tape your motor pool up. No. Negative. First off, I'm Dr. Maury Ficklestein. Secondly, Hello, I work for the federal government, civilian, so I can do what I want. Run and tell that. Anyway, I have to get ready for my table of allotment 50 layout. I'm going to bring everything that I own. Well, not really own. It's, it's more like a lease. It's more like we're going to give you this, but we're going to check up on it sometimes. And you better have it. We're going we're gonna to take your money. Well, me being a doctor, I understand these things. I understand that you have to have your instruments. But what I'm going to tell you is that I have 72 hours to find these things. No hand receipts here. It's not going to happen. You can issue me one, but I'm not going to sign it. Or maybe I will with a smiley face, because that makes me happy. I like smiley faces. Anyway... This is Dr. Maury Ficklestein, once again, entertaining you, because that's what I do. Rack ball! Still your tax dollars at work. Ha <laughs> ha!